Welcome to 90U. This is my room tour for you. The intention of making this video and the reason I wanted to make it is because when I first accepted at Ottawa, I was super excited for my res and I was watching a ton of YouTube videos. However, there aren't too many for 90U, so this is for you. It's moving out day! Yay! Woo! We're moving out today. So we stayed at a friend's house last night. It's the morning, it is 8.20 and we're about to head out to go to the university. We are in Ottawa. We're at the campus, then we're just outside. Right. Then at the next one, turn right. We're turning right, apparently. And yeah, super excited. The feeling hasn't really kicked in yet, but I'm, I'm crammed in a car. My roommate is already here, but I haven't met her yet. My room, woo! It's a good day, I'm pretty excited. So now what is currently happening is we're making the bed. As you can see, my room comes with a lamp, um, another side lamp, as well as a TV, and it has all the ports on the side. Just to take a little look. Oh, those are not the ports. Maybe I lied, maybe it's on the other side. Oh, it totally is, I'll show you. So these are the ports you're working with. So I don't know too much about PlayStation and gaming, but I think you're set up. It is a double bed. And so what I ended up bringing, I ended up bringing leg lifts and I had a larger leg lift and a smaller leg lift. But if you look right down here, there's so much space. You really only need the large one. In terms of pillows, I ended up bringing only three, thinking that it was going to be smaller, but they actually turned out to be larger, so you kind of have like one, two, and then I don't know if you want any throw pillows or what the vibe is, but I recommend bringing three. Update, we just made the bed. We have these two things, and of all the YouTube videos I've watched myself too, no one really knows what they're for, but I think what we're going to do, we're going to add a little flat... Oh. They're folded hotel towel racks. It goes face cloths, hand cloths. Oh, okay, so they're towel racks, but what we're, we're probably gonna do is bring like a flat part here and then we're gonna make a little shelf. Once again, they do come with these very thin material um, plastic shower things, but we do have a shower curtain, little, little tour. It is very clean, I'm very impressed. It's quite a spacious setup. Here's the under before we move in and everything. So there's a lot of space, you should be good. So you can already see the difference the leg lifts make compared to my roommate's bed. It just adds that extra little space. I'm doing the whole the whole tour of everything and what it looks like before I move in, just to kind of give everyone a sense of what's going on. This is called double-sided mountain tape. And so I've heard about the thing about 90U walls. I mean, we're gonna test the theory, but apparently they're kind of like, kind of like a concrete, but I'm gonna try this out this year, see how it works. It's like extra sticky double-sided tape. So we're currently um, assembling the tension rod and we're gonna add kind of a facade of doors. Shoe rack is being made and that is what it looks like with the curtains up. Highly recommend. If you are a hockey player, a dancer, or someone that has a large um, wheelie bag, bring that for packing, game changer. Little closet update as I'm moving in. These are three white bins, dollar store bins, great for space. It's easy to just pull the bin down, take a look, whatever you need. Another big pro tip, as my dad is so wonderfully making my shoe rack, bring scissors, the scissors over there, have scissors accessible because especially if you're like me and you end up just bringing the prepackaged thing and you just bring the bin, when it comes time to make things, you keep needing to cut the really thick tape. A little update on the bathroom. We have a new bathroom curtain rod going on here. To maximize your space, what we did, we made our own little shelving unit so you can get all of these things at the dollar store, just like the little metal rack, and then two bins that will fit underneath. The same goes for above the fridge. I have my bin, uh, my roommate has her bin, and it just kind of separates snacks. Good morning. It is the second day, it's the second full day that I'm here, and I just wanted to give a little update of what the rooms are looking like. Welcome. So I got the tension rod up with the curtains added a little bit of decorations. Okay, so this is actually a drying rack. It isn't pulled down right now, but it's just holding my towel. Highly recommend. I threw some butterflies everywhere, hung up my hats, did a little decoration piece. It's a bit of the room. And as far as underground storage goes, I didn't really use it. It's just kind of holding the things that I brought with me, but it's good. My view is pretty good too, especially for being on the second floor. I really can't complain. So after the initial moving in experience, my recommendation is bring lots of storage. You don't think you need it, but trust me, you do. I learned there are dollar stores very close to where we live, as well as a mall. Take a trip down. There's a lot of good stuff in case you forget anything. 
So the clips you probably saw beforehand, that was what my room looked like when I initially moved in. But now it's winter break, I'm about to head home. And I actually switched up my room a bit. And so I figured I'd give you a bit of a tour. And I actually prefer this setup much more. As you can see, we have um, decorated the winter wonderland because it is the break. And this is the new setup. There is so much more space and it has changed my life. I have my desk in the corner, the bed, the closet is still intact. I never had any problems with the, with the rod. And yeah, the bins are working out great. I'm going to tell you, 90 residents, that's the one you want. If you can, and if it is obtainable to you, I highly recommend. So great, especially having Stanton and Marchand right near each other. Even if you're in Stanton and Marchand, one of those three, you're winning. Welcome back. As I'm in the process of moving out, I figured I would do a little more of a tour about 90U. So because in 90U, you have your own sink and your own kitchen setup, there isn't really a stove or oven countertop. So this is just a little tour of the kitchen that you do have access to. As you can see, there's three ovens. Yep, three ovens slash stove tops. And then we also have two sinks here and there's a microwave as well as a toaster oven. I have baked cookies here, it's free access whenever, and they also have a fridge if you need to store anything, but you're probably gonna store it in your own fridge. So now we're gonna get a little tour of the laundry room. There's a little paying system that I'm gonna show you in a second, but the washers and dryers are all split by halves. It is $2 per load and you pay at the yellow or green machine. All right, so now we have made it into the 90U common rooms. This is where you're gonna have your monthly little updates with your floor groups and this is um this is a low-rise common room and they're traditionally bigger the high rise is due to like space they're smaller than this but the views are really nice you will have access to a tv i've seen people play xbox we you can connect it to your computer another noteworthy thing is that this is your door it's kind of what it looks like and your student card is the thing that's going to let you have access into your room so you don't Want to lose that originally down here we had some organizers as set up but since moving out i packed it all but i highly recommend doing that i do have some other friends even on this floor and they have they have a shelf here that goes here to there not every uh bathroom has it just depends you will need to supply your own toilet paper your own cleaning supplies your own hand soap like none of that is supplied that's all on you in terms of storage, this is what you're looking at for your setup. That's the size of your drawer, what you have right there, cupboard space, and then the kitchen. Okay, so here's our microwave. Beautiful. We have the fridge. This is the freezer. Substantial space and room. And then we have the bottom half of our fridge. As you can see, it's getting to be pretty empty due to us moving out. Another point that's noteworthy about the 90U low rise is that they're all carpets, which means they're prone to getting really dirty really quickly. So if you have a vacuum or have access to a vacuum or have a friend with a vacuum, use it, please. I suffered from not having a vacuum and unfortunately it shows. I tried using a broom to clean it, it not effective. So as you can see, it's moving day for some people, but you have these curtains. I hope the lighting isn't hurting it too much. There we are, we have two curtains and a window that does open, but sometimes in the winter months, they'll ask you to close it. The desk has a little hole if you wanna get your charging cable through there. There is a thermostat. Ours, it, ours worked. We didn't have a problem with it, but other people's did not. Personally, I don't need a super like squishy mattress, but I'm gonna tell you my 90U bed was so comfortable. It was, I always had the best sleeps. I did have a thin mattress topper, but no, it was amazing. Like sleeping there, 10 out of 10, loved it. Honestly, storage-wise, I ran into a lot of issues, so I found it really helpful to have bins. You'll need a lot of clothing hangers. This drawer is very helpful. I cleaned it out. So there's the one, and then here's the other one. Lovely. Once again, it comes with a lamp, just a plug-in, and it's actually connected to the light switch, so if I turn off the light switch, it will turn off, which is nice. So now we are entering my roommate's room. She was so lovely and she filmed this on her move out day, which was a little bit after mine. You can see they have the standing lamp. There's also a desk lamp as well, the same chair, same desk setup, TV, window, etc. That's her view on one of the rainier days. 
Roommate situation wise, I lucked out. My roommate was fantastic. I love her so much and she's great. So as I mentioned the other day, there is a recycling. It'll be down your hall. And this is a little note. Because everyone's moving out, they've closed the garbage chute. These are the bins that you will find in your common room garbage. There are two sets of elevators. These are the high rise. And over here is the low rise. And if we just open it up, because they're both on floor one, Perfect. If we go inside, you will see that it only goes up to floor six. I don't know if I already addressed this, but these are the mailboxes. Yours, you'll have one that corresponds with your room and you'll get a key. This is what the residence looks like. You can kind of tell from the different colors. The low rise are the darker, the darker bricks. High rise, obviously the lighter bricks. We have a parking lot. And then so conveniently right over here past this, the emergency exit thing. Up the ramp, there's also a staircase. We have the dining hall, so it's super convenient location-wise. And then also for context, you can see 90 U's to the far right. Then to the left of that, the top of that building, that is Stanton. And then to the left of that, that's Marchand. So the three buildings, they all have the same entrance, which is far yonder, right over there. And yeah, it's a super social area. So at this point, we're kind of adding to the tour. Now I'm in FSS, it's the big social science building and it's known for its famous green wall, which is under repair apparently. And I'm about to go hand back one of my keys for my student government because it's the end of the year. So this is one of the buildings that's super close to the residence and it's beautiful to study in. Here we are on the second level of FSS. You can see the wall is still there, staircase up. And there's a lot of great studying spaces to utilize. It's a super big building, so there's also elevators. So another thing that we can talk about is the gyms. There are two of them. We have Mont Petit and we also have Minto. And so Minto is the bigger one. It is near 45 Man. It's farther off residence. And then Mont Petit, it's right near the dining hall, super close. A lot of the time, like people talk about Carlton having a lot of underground tunnels and things like that. Honestly, Ottawa has a few pathways and like tunnel-like things that connect a bunch of the buildings as well. So when it comes to being winter time, don't worry you're not entirely left out in the cold if you're lucky. But I mean, sometimes you gotta trek through it. Another great thing that I love about the Ottawa campus is they're very environmentally friendly. So there's always opportunities to do proper recycling. And there are also battery recycling locations. It's super great for that. There are a lot of on-campus dining opportunities. Here is one of them, which is in FSS. It's delicious, get the croissants, they're good. So this video was just supposed to be 90U, but I'm at the point where I'm kind of just doing as much of a tour as I can for you because you may as well know. Here we have the dining hall and then just right around the corner, it's the Morissette Library. You'll be studying there or not. I mean, it kind of depends on your thing, but I really like it in there. So now we're gonna head right into the dining hall. You scan in each time with your student card if you have a meal plan or you can pay using credit, debit. This is the kind of make it do it yourself kitchen. We also have a pancake waffle, sorry, it's a waffle machine, a waffle machine set up right there, as well as some juice and some useful ingredients. Now we're getting into the all you can eat buffet type setup that changes every day. That's the sandwich bar. There's a place where you can toast the bread, salad bar as well. Now we're coming over to the panini press. I utilize that so much. Coffee machine, also loved that. There's also a yogurt station and we have Starbucks coffee. That's some drinks, so many drink options, and this is the water filling station, which is really cool. And this is just a little look at the dining hall itself. Over here, there are a ton of sauces, spices, a microwave, and there's also a bunch of salad dressings, ketchup, mustard, etc. This is the clearing station, so I'm gonna show you what I do with my plate. You put the compost away, then you have a little section for the utensils. And then if it's a small plate, you put it in one of the trays as well as your glasses. And then if it's a larger plate, you put it in a different tray. If you don't have a meal plan, it's okay. You just have to pay. So around the bend, we are going to reach up there. You can see that's the residence Thompson. I hope it's not too windy so that you can't hear me. But this is the Thompson residence. And then we have the side of the library again. And as we get a little bit closer, we will see it, Morissette Library. Also a beautiful set of stairs up to a rooftop where a lot of people study. It's, it's great up there, it's stunning. There's a little peak of the road. And if you go far enough right, you'll reach second cup. And then if you keep walking, you'll find a Starbucks. So here we are.
and then after 11 p.m. you have to scan but before that the library is technically open to the public each floor kind of has a setup of their noise levels and I'll show you that through the floors here we go there we are and as you can see we have a floor plan of where you can be loud where you can be quiet and all that fun stuff uh, we'll go up to the sixth floor just because it's pretty and then it's time for me to move out the next floor that we're going to check out is floor four and if you can see behind there there are yellow pieces and those are the study rooms um, you can book them online I did it this exam season highly recommend also I got a banana from the cafeteria that's why I'm holding this because exams are over now the library is pretty dead but here is an example of a study room discussion room they have whiteboards you have to supply your own whiteboard markers but super nice we have some more seating over here and every every level of the library it's kind of different so over here compared to the other one upstairs that was kind of like the master's student section where it's more high tech in a sense this is more low-key but i still like it now we are back on the first floor of the library and i'm going to show you how to print things so using the website called paper cut you ottawa you're going to be able to put your pdf documents into their word documents you're going to scan using your student card you'll also pay through that and you can print as much as you need and i hope this is very insightful for you hope you have a great first year and i wish you all the best